15 more seconds. Welcome back, everyone. This is Amy. This is TJ. We do not have a couple's counselor. We didn't believe that we needed one. We might have spoken to I think the holidays have had an impact on us. There is some yes. stuff going on with us the past couple of days that <laughs> well, I'm not used to seeing. I would say we definitely have a moment a week, probably. Okay, I would disagree with that. But there has been one night that Robach and I spent apart. We needed space from each other. I get emotional. We decided what better place to talk about all of this than <laughs> right here on our podcast. It's our pleasure to welcome Dr. Jeff Gardier. Now, let's rewind a bit and provide some much-needed background. TJ Holmes and Amy Robach were not just colleagues, they were colleagues turned lovers who took the plunge into podcasting together. Rumors of cheating allegations during their previous marriages have swirled around, but let's set the record straight. Those rumors have been debunked. They were separated from their partners at that time. Now, back to their current relationship status. Fast forward to the present. Both TJ Holmes and Amy Robach have finalized their divorces and embarked upon a journey to blend their families together. Co-parenting can be a whirlwind of challenges, but these two along with their ex-partners have made commendable efforts to maintain healthy relationships for the sake of their children. Kudos to them for putting their kids first. But let's shift gears and dive into the heart of this matter. The conflicts that arise between TJ Holmes and Amy Robach. Like any couple they face arguments, but boy do they know how to keep things interesting. One particular incident stands out when TJ and Amy had a heated disagreement about their parenting styles during a live episode of their podcast. Tit preferred taking personal space to cool down while Amy wanted to address the issue immediately. This clash in their conflict resolution styles left both of them feeling frustrated and unresolved. It's like watching a Hollywood drama unfold right before our eyes. T.A. Holmes openly admits that when faced with arguments, he takes a step back and checks out mentally. Instead of engaging in aggressive shouting matches, he believes in the power of personal space and taking time to work through issues on his own. It's an unconventional strategy but sparks debate about its impact on his relationship with Amy. Is T.J. really checking out of their relationship or is he just taking a breather to gather his thoughts? The audience is divided and the drama continues. On the other hand, Amy Robot finds Tiz's approach frustrating. She prefers open communication and timely resolutions, whereas Tiz's disengagement after arguments leaves her uncertain about what she should say or do while waiting for him to reconcile. It's a clash of conflict resolution styles that highlights the complexities of their relationship because finding common ground and face disagreements is essential for any partnership. To shed further light on this topic, we reached out to relationship experts for insights. Thought Emily Johnson, renowned psychologist specializing in couples therapy, explains, Taking personal space can be healthy way cool down, but crucial find balance that doesn't lead emotional disconnection. Communication compromise are key resolving conflicts maintaining strong bond. Wise words indeed, Doc Johnson. But let's not stop there. We want to give TJ and Amy tools they need mend their relationship find healthy balance. Seeking professional help or engaging couples therapy could be potential game changers for them. Imagine drama therapy sessions playing World C. It would make thrilling episodes, that's sure. Additionally, they can explore active listening techniques such as using I statements to express their feelings and needs or practicing empathy to better understand each other's perspectives. Furthermore, both TJ and Amy can engage in self-reflection exercises like journaling or mindfulness practices gain insights into their own conflict resolution styles and emotional triggers. It's time for them to dig deep grow personally. We've taken you on a thrilling journey through the intricate dynamics of TJ Holmes and Amy Robach's relationship. While it appears that a breakup may be looming due to their conflicting approaches to conflict resolution, we must remember that relationships are constantly evolving. By seeking professional help, engaging in open communication, and fostering personal growth, TJ and Amy can find a way to resolve their differences. Stay tuned for exciting updates on their journey as we highlight the significance of open communication and personal growth within partnerships. Remember relationships take work, but with right tools, dedication, reconciliation is all this possibility. Thanks for joining us today on this roller coaster ride. Don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe for more mind-blowing content. Until next time, keep those Hollywood drama antennas up and ready. Are we all ready? It's 15 more seconds. Welcome back, everyone. This is Amy. This is TJ. We do not have a couple's counselor. We didn't believe that we needed one. We might have spoken to something. 
the holidays have had an impact on us. There is some yes. stuff going on with us the past couple of days that <laughs> well, I'm not used to seeing. I would say we definitely have a moment a week, probably. Okay, I would disagree with that. But there has been one night that Robach and I spent apart. We needed space from each other. I get emotional. We decided what better place to talk about all of this <laughs> than right here on our podcast. It's our pleasure to welcome Dr. Jeff Gardier. This is new to me, too. We are about to learn this together because <laughs> I didn't know she was looking at me differently. I think I saw you looking at me differently. When we knew it was probably summer of last year, we were very close to entering divorce proceedings. That never saw the light of day, and it's never been heard until this moment. Andy, I see the look on your face, and maybe some people will have that same reaction.